Good morning and welcome to the Daily Zener number 48. I'm about halfway through my journey this morning to get to where I work. I'm not trying to get hit by a car here. <laughs> but yes, uh, feeling good. Got a good amount of sleep, very productive last night. That's what I like to be. And the goal for today is to bring as much value to the environment that I am inhabiting on Earth as a guest today. So, that said, I'll come back with some further updates a little later. Alrighty, what's good? Real quick update from the one I just gave. Just recently, I just really ate it on my skateboard. I was trying to dodge some branches that were sticking up in the air, hanging from a tree. And for whatever reason, my board kind of kicked out under me when I shifted my body. But regardless, I caught myself, I didn't necessarily, I didn't fall down, but I nearly did. And all good there. I'm gonna keep skate, skating on. Yep. What's good at my normal stopping place this week, which has been this parking lot of this Chinese and Japanese Imperial Dynasty sushi restaurant. Uh, because it's literally like five minute walk from where I work on the same it sits on the same road as my work and literally this time in the morning the sun is right there on this bench so it's really nice <clears throat> one thing I want to add is I want to work on becoming better at developing a, uh, an ability to handle uncertainty I got something that is a uh, that I that would be a good quality for me to develop and very useful in any situation because obviously it's in uncertainty and that just presents a whole another door of opportunities that I would be able to experience and that's what I'm all about right now is growing evolving and getting more and more opportunities <sighs> yeah just thinking, just absorbing the sun, feels good, very appreciative right now, appreciative of my health, appreciative of having a safe place to live, appreciative of the weather, glad it's not raining, yesterday I got to work about 10 minutes right before it started raining, so that was nice, it's not going to be a big deal if it rains, but it's always nicer when you arrive drier, of course, uh, appreciative of friends, family, the job I got right now, that I haven't crashed on my skateboard bad enough to wear it developed some serious injury. Very appreciative of that. What else? <clears throat> well, appreciative I was able to go to sleep and get a good night's sleep. Appreciative I just live in a good area at the moment. Appreciative I have the opportunity to grow and be on my own journey, according to me at least. <laughs> Appreciative I'm able to make my own decisions for myself because there are people out there that don't have that opportunity and appreciative to be a guest on Spaceship Earth, traveling through space currently right now. Not sure where our destination is going, but I'm along for the ride and I will catch you in the next installment, baby. Let's go. What is good? Just making my way back from work to my apartment and I'm literally like five minutes into my journey right now this is one of the underpasses I take I'm actually exiting right now I should have probably shot this video a little earlier but I will do so in the near future to give you a better idea of a little bit of my uh, route coming up but uh, yeah it's an underpass that goes under the road that uh, leads to my work so it's really busy so it's pretty hard to cross sometimes but it's Seminole Wakiva Trail or Wakiva Trail I believe Seminole would be the county I'm in Seminole Seminole County in Wakaiva, just an area of Orlando. Um, but yeah, awesome day. Really productive, bouncing around. Uh, let's see, I don't even know how many uh, clients I was with. I had to guess. Probably somewhere between six and nine, something like that. So bouncing back and forth between them. And during lunch, I had to take an Uber to go turn in some le uh, my leasing application to the actual property management team. Of the location I'm living at. I'm just looking at the sky right now. It looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, funny story with uh, me waiting for the Uber. I saw my app. The the car the Uber driver was in was a Hyundai Electra. 
And I saw that, I didn't even pay attention to the color. And I really opened up another Hyundai Electra uh, car door. So I saw, I saw this person driving. I looked at them, they didn't really glance at me at all. They just kind of didn't notice me and they parked in the parking lot. I, was kind of, I thought that was kind of weird why I would just park in the parking lot. So I went up to it. I opened the, the passenger side door and I saw there was stuff in the seat. I didn't really give much thought to like saying something. At least I think I said something, but I didn't really get much of a response. I was like, all right, I'll just sit in the back. I opened the back passenger side door and there's a baby crib in there. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll will sit in the front. So I opened the front and, I, and then I, that's when we communicated. I was like, oh, so are you the Uber driver? And she said, no. So I clearly opened somebody's just random car door when, right when she parked. <laughs> I apologize, obviously, really quickly, but it was pretty funny. And then when, we were, when I walked away, she got out of the car and I again apologized. And I just ended up scaring the shit out of her, according to her, which is totally understandable. So <laughs> lesson learned, pay attention to what color car your Uber driver has. And that can generally be indicated on the app itself. Also on top of that, you can actually look the once you get a driver signed to you you can actually see their license plate and that's something i've never done before so a lesson has been learned for today overall great day just got out like i just said it's around 5 30 right now I was there from 8 30 to 5 30 with that little break in between to get some paperwork stuff done with my apartment hopefully that gets processed and all good what's on tap for tonight well finish my route here which will be consistent of listening to podcasts and walking slash skating try not to eat it like i did earlier this morning and probably just end up going to starbucks again i gotta upload my daily xander number 47 which you would have already seen by now but i'm a little late just because my phone ran out of memory so i had to delete one of the apps that i make that i put the videos together so i'm gonna do that tonight i'm gonna try to finish up my uh, paralysis exam that I have to do for work. That way I just get out of the way and I uh, check one, one, uh, one, one more thing off the list that I have to do as far as my new hiring process goes. And I, I don't want to do it when I'm at work just because it takes me away from observation and helping out kind of thing. And it allows me to advance uh, faster too. So I don't mind doing it because I don't really have anything else going on at the moment. So with that said, I'm feeling very fortunate. Obviously, working pretty much every person I had I was in contact with today at the core gym, as far as clients go, had most of them have spinal cord injuries because they're all in wheelchairs for the most part, a good portion of them. And there was a couple of people, there was only actually one person I think I saw today that actually, when I say I saw, I was working with a trainer, so. We saw them together kind of thing and I would just assist the trainer. Um, but yeah, there's only one lady I believe that I saw that, that I saw that actually wasn't in a wheelchair. So for the most part, most people have spinal cord injuries. Well, at least for today, the clients that were there. So it just makes me feel very fortunate of my health and appreciative of being able to move. Everything's functioning superbly. And it's just amazing always to see people to that degree of health, still be able to laugh, joke, joke around even about themselves and just make, make the most out of the quality of life that they currently have. So it's very inspiring and motivating to be in that atmosphere. And I'm already somebody who doesn't complain as is, but it makes me even not want to complain at all. Man, look at the sun. Oh, this guy's waiting on me right now. I should probably walk faster, huh? Um, but yeah, just feeling feeling superb. And next update soon to come. Peace.